Houston native and WNBA star Brittany Griner surprised everybody today when she pled guilty in court in Russia. She now faces up to 10 years in a Russian prison. Griner, who is a two time Olympic gold medalist, admitted that she had cannabis oil in her luggage when she traveled to Russia in February. Her guilty plea came a day after President Biden responded to the letter that she sent him, promising to get her freed from the country. Melissa Correa has details from the courtroom today and the growing call from family and friends to free Griner. Inside a Russian courtroom, WNBA basketball star Brittany Griner admitted to drug possession. In February, the 31-year-old traveled to Moscow to play for a Russian team. She was detained at an airport after two vape canisters with cannabis oil were found in her luggage. Prosecutors say the cartridges contained a significant amount of cannabis oil, though investigators measure it at 0.02 ounces. In pleading guilty today, Griner told a judge there was no intent. I did not want to break the law. Her lawyers but share more. She said that it was unintentionally brought to, to Russia because she was in a, in a hurry as she was packing. A member of the U.S. Embassy in Russia talking with Griner today. Uh, she said that she is eating well. She is able to read books. Uh, and under the circumstances, she is doing well. The Houston native received a letter from President Joe Biden today, one day after he called Griner's wife. I can't rest as her humanity is being stripped from her. Sherelle Griner leading calls for the Olympic champion's release. I ask for your help in continuing to fight for BG's safe and quick return home. Griner's guilty plea could be the first step in a possible prisoner swap. Russian media speculate Griner could be exchanged for a Russian arms trader nicknamed the Merchant of Death. He's serving a 25-year sentence in the U.S. for conspiring to kill Americans. There's a lot of pressure on the Biden administration to go through with an exchange if the Russians propose it, even though the cases are total, are not comparable at all. Melissa Correa with the breakdown for us tonight. You know, the White House has said it will not talk strategy until Griner's court proceedings are over. She's due back in court next Thursday.